So I don't really know exactly where this came from or why this started, but every single person has a story. Every single person has an entire lifetime. Doesn't matter how young or how old you are. Doesn't matter what you've been through, if you've been through a lot or a little, every single person has a story. Every single person on this earth has hardships. That's what happens. We come here, we're born, we live an entire life filled with highs and lows, people loving us, people hurting us. And what bothers me is that so many people walk around acting like they have it all together. And no one person is better than the other in the sense of what you've been through or the lessons you've learned or how you've handled it. Every single person has been through things. And I think that if we were to just recognize that we all have stories, we all have hurts, we all have beautiful memories, and we all have painful experiences that we're carrying through this life. And if we can all recognize that everyone, no matter what your story is, no matter how it varies from your experience versus this person's experience, nobody gets out of this life without having something that's happened to them or a multitude of things that have happened to them that have impacted them. And I wish that we would act just a little bit less perfect. I wish that we wouldn't sit there and put on this facade like like we're all doing so great and that I don't have any issues. I am doing better than everyone because that lack of vulnerability is what separates everybody. It's why most of our world is so divided. It's why... Especially in the age of social media, you look at other people and you go, well, I'm not doing what I want to be because this person with their highlight reel seems to have it all together. This person seems like they are living the absolute best life and I want to live that. And what you don't see from the age that we live in, from seeing everyone's picture perfect Instagram life is we have all had those struggles. We've all had those stories. And I don't have any that are better or worse than anyone else. I have some incredible, beautiful memories just like everyone. And I have some incredibly painful experiences just like everyone. And my goal is I want to make people feel just a little bit less alone. I want to be somebody that doesn't put on this facade like I'm perfect or that I have it all together or that I'm doing better than anyone because I'm not. We're all just figuring this out day by day. And I think that if I can share some stories, some experiences, some things I have been through in my radically imperfect life, that a lot of people will feel a little less alone, that that vulnerability can connect and create a sense of togetherness. Because I think that's what we need more than anything right now. In a world that is hurting, in a world where there's so much pain and suffering, but also incredible experiences. I mean, every second, somebody's being born and someone's dying. Every single second, someone is losing a person and someone is gaining a person. In every second, there is the duality of life and death, of beauty and pain, of joy and suffering. And by sharing these experiences, you can find that sense of connection. And you can know that no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. You're not the only person that's experiencing it. In those moments, it feels like you are. It can feel so isolating when you're going through that painful experience, when you're in the thick of it, when you are feeling all of the emotions of everything crashing down and you're wondering how you got there and why you and you're questioning everything else that's ever happened to you in your life because 
all of that cannot lead to such a terrible moment. You get so caught up in the pain that you forget about the experience. You forget a lot of people have and are and will experience exactly what you're going through. And that doesn't make your situation any less valuable or important. That's not saying that, well, everyone goes through hardship, so you shouldn't worry about this. No, it's it's a sense of connection and community. And that's something that we as a species used to have so much more. In an age where we could be more connected than ever, we have become more divided. In an age where it's so easy for us to keep up with each other and see each other and have those communities and have those families and those friends and the people that love and support you, we've instead used it as a way to compare ourselves by putting other people on a pedestal and thinking, there's no way anyone can understand what I'm going through because when you're in it, it feels like you were the only person that feels that way. And so I'm hoping that by sharing the stories that I have, both the absolutely unbelievable, crazy once-in-a-lifetime experiences and the absolutely unfair, sad, unjust things that have happened, that one, you will feel a little less alone. And two, if you're in the situation, you can see the light on the other side. You can see where there was a very dark night before a very bright day. You can see that life is not just this trajectory of going up. It's a roller coaster of ups and downs and highs and lows and trying and failing and loving and learning and all of the things that come with living life. That's what makes it so beautiful to be able to have this experience where we're alive because it's not always a high and it's not always a low. It is unpredictable and it is wild and it is beautiful and I cannot wait to share it.